And this is one thing that really maddens me. Hey guys, I'm Nate. Welcome back to the channel. So I'm on vacation and I got a Chrysler 300 as the rental. I thought I'd just give you a real quick video today just to give you what my impressions are of this car. So it's a 300S. You can see it's got the S logo right here. So first of all, it's an automatic. I really don't like this weird wheel shifter. So I thought maybe the eight-speed unit would be different, but it's just like every other automatic I've ever driven where it does not shift the gear that I want it to shift in. So I still prefer manual, guys, even after driving this eight-speed automatic, which is supposed to be a good unit. All right, so the other thing I noticed, I thought it was a pretty nice, but I don't like how they just kind of cheaped out here. Like it's leather covered, but then it's cloth on the sides. Figured they could use cloth all throughout. Otherwise, it's very similar to the interior. Even the gauge design is very similar to what you find on the Challenger. Here, I'll turn it on. This is obviously a V6 unit, but the the system, the, the Android Auto unit is really nice. I don't have that in my car because it's a 2015. The gauges are pretty nice. I like all of that stuff. And this is one thing that really maddens me. This window, check it out. It goes down one touch and guess what? it goes up one touch. If Chrysler has this unit that can do the one touch up and down, why couldn't they put this in the Challenger Hellcat, a $65,000 car? I don't get it, guys. What do you guys think? They cheaped out for, I mean, they, you know, they, they had the part. They basically could have just put it right there in the car. Let's do a quick walk around. It's got the black wheels, which I really like on this car, especially with the, with the white. Yep, we're in Colorado. I like that. It's a nice touch. I don't know if that's always there but that red chrysler logo is nice it's just a very sharp looking car always like these 300s to be honest i like these more actually than the chargers the sharp looking car they got plenty of room in the back I'm taking a little guy around in this thing and yeah it's a, it's a nice comfortable car to be in actually you can even see here i'll put the trunk There's a ton of space in this trunk. Maybe a little bit more even than the Challenger, I think, which makes sense, four-door car. Of course, we gotta pop the hood, right? Let's take a look at that Pentastar V6. Yeah, there it is, V6. Not really much to see. It's not like the Challenger engine, babe, but that's a Hellcat. So yeah, overall, I think it's a pretty nice car. I mean, I would definitely like to have one of these as a daily driver. It's been pretty good on gas, too. We've been going up and down the mountains, and I don't really have to fill it once now in like almost a week. And even then still had a little bit of gas left. So yeah, I like it. What would make this car better? Manual transmission, which they've never offered on this car. And maybe just a little bit of more upgraded seating surfaces, which maybe you get on the higher trims. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.